Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector. And it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today we'll be reviewing the Transformers The Last Night movie, Grimlock. Now we took our time, we're talking about the saying what the figure is. Let's look at the figure itself. In case you wonder why he was he standing by the backdrop, he won't stand on his own. He likes to tip over and his foot is really loose. Look at that foot. Really loosey goosey. But compared to the one I got at the thrift store, he is complete. And he's got his dino choppers. Ch chop in action. Look at that. Me Grimlock going to munch metal. And munch Decepticon metal. Mwah. Otherwise, a good looking figure. Really well sculpted. Really well painted. Love it. But speaking of Grimlocks, we're going to do some comparisons with this figure. If I can get him to stand on his own without tipping over, which is... Can I get him to stand? I just got him to stand in a weird pose, but it'll do. Can I get him to continue in the stand? That'll have to do. Now for comparison, here is the only other Grimlock I own. The Age of Extinction one-step changer Grimlock, and he is smaller. Some other Age of Extinction and Last Night movie figures. Optimus Prime. Optimus Prime again. And he does transform uh, auto morph transformation. But before we get on to transforming him, we're going to show off what he looks like having a figure riding Grimlock like he did in the movie. So here we have the Legends, Optimus Prime, and he's riding. Grimlock, I mean like, hi ho Dinobot, Grimlock, charge, we fight for our freedom. They can also do that with the one step changer as well. Put last night movie, Legends, Optimus Prime, riding Grimlock, it's precious, Grimlocky precious. But now we're going to transform him into his robot mode. I've memorized this transformation, hands down, so it's an easy one to do every day. We're going to pull his legs out, like so, pull them down, like so, and then we're going to pull this back, split the jaw, like this. Rotate it backwards. And fold these in until they tab in the place. Turn around his robot mode arms. Flip out this piece, the heel, to form his shoulders. Second verse, just like the first. It's an easy transformation, so I have no problem transforming it. Get how many people I've seen transform the Age of Extinction one of this? Very well. Flip out his feet. Like so, and they'll click into place. And here we got Grimlock in his robot mode. And man, this figure is really well sculpted and really well painted. It's glorious. He can kick back that far. And bend his knees. He doesn't have ankle tilt. His arms bend like this. His head is not on a ball joint, but it does pop out real easy, so you got to be careful with this figure. But otherwise, a really good figure. I love this figure. But now we're going to get down to comparisons. Before we give 
get um, comparisons, let's give him a sword, because I don't have his club weapon. But he can wield this black sword of fury. Eat my sword, Decepticons. Because me, Grimlock, say so. Because me, Grimlock, king. But now we're going to do some comparisons. Why not? Stubborn figure wanted to give me some trouble transforming it. But here is Age of Extinction Grimlock next to Age of Extinction Optimus Prime. And this is a good looking comparison. They're at the exact same scale. But not posability-wise, this one's better than this. Next to that, we're going to do the Last Night One Step Change In, Optimus Prime. Next to that, and he is smaller than that figure. And of course, the One Step Change In Grimlock from Age of Extinction. Because that's a comparison worth doing, huh? So here we got all the Age of Extinction figures I actually own. And Age of Extinction and Last Night figures, we own five of them. Three Optimus Primes and two Grimlocks. Do I have any attention to track down any more Age of Extinction or Last Night figures? Yes. If I could find them complete, they'd be worth the money. And I grew up with uh, Transformers, and that's why I got into Age of Extinction. But yeah, these Grimlocks will have some swords on the shelf, and they'll look good on my shelf. And I highly recommend you pick these up. If you watched the Transformers The Last Night or Age of Extinction... The designs, redesigns for Optimus Prime and the Grimlock design were awesome. No matter what people say, they were awesome. They were fun. I'm so glad to own these figures. Before I end this video, please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe. Please and thank you because I need as much support on my YouTube channel as anything else. As I try to get past 733 subscribers. So please make sure to like. Please make sure to comment. And don't forget to subscribe. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on. And rock on and rock out. YouTube land.